What the test showed is at some point this summer, he'd had COVID. The Edmonton Oilers solving the mystery as to why Josh Archibald hasn't been well enough to play with teammates recently. A battery of tests revealed the unvaccinated forward had COVID, which now appears to have put his career on hold. Since then, has been diagnosed with myocard- myocarditis. It refers to inflammation of the heart muscle. Myocarditis is a treatable condition caused by a virus that typically impacts one in a million people. But COVID has drastically changed that game. Seems to be about 10% of patients who have had COVID uh, show signs of having had myocarditis. The Oilers' Alex Stalock and Boston Red Sox pitcher Eduardo Rodriguez both developed myocarditis after battling COVID. Many college athletes also developed the condition after contracting the virus. While it can be mild and cured, the risk of heart failure means affected athletes must pause their careers. If they went prematurely back to their activity, while the heart is still healing, that maybe they cause more injury to the heart just by putting extra stress on their body. We need to use the Archibald story as as an example, a cautionary tale, right, about, about misperception of risk. Archibald was unvaccinated. His condition just adds to the latest COVID conspiracy. The Ottawa Heart Institute recently published a preprint paper that suggested the vaccine elevated risk for the heart condition. Relatively common, like one in a thousand. Um, And uh, they got the numbers wrong. Instead, it appears closer to one in 25,000. Even after retracting the paper and admitting their error, the invalidated research is still preached as gospel by vaccine opponents and could eventually become a so-called zombie paper. The most notorious example of that, of course, is the Andrew Wakefield paper that was retracted from Lancet that suggested there was a connection between vaccines and autism. There is not, but that idea lives on. The Council of Canada's top doctors confirmed vaccine cases of myocarditis do occur, more likely in men under 30, but they add the risk of heart inflammation is much higher if you contract COVID-19, another reason to evaluate your sources. You can use that uncertainty to doubt monger, right? To just create doubt. And when you are someone doing the risk benefit analysis on whether you should get the vaccine, and by the way, you should, uh, the uh, that can have an impact. Scott Frolick, City News, Edmonton.